Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to talk about premature ejaculation and how you can potentially fix this problem once and for all. And at the very least, you'll discover five proven ways of reducing this embarrassing situation from ever happening again. So if you're feeling maybe a little insecure or ashamed about this, don't worry, because you're not alone. So that's the first thing I wanna mention. And I say this because if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, which by the way, if you're not, please click and subscribe right now because I've got some great videos coming out soon about this and similar topics. So as I was saying, if you're a subscriber, you probably have seen some of my videos and I've revealed some proven ways for guys to improve their testosterone and their libido, which is especially important for guys who have erectile dysfunction or impotence. And the feedback has been great and it probably explains why millions have viewed these popular videos. However, I started getting a lot of private emails and questions from guys who are dealing with the opposite issue, which is about today's topic, and that's premature ejaculation. Now, the basic definition of premature ejaculation is when a guy ejaculates either before or shortly after sexual penetration or really anything sexual, whether it's, you know, a hand or oral or anything like that. And the main issue is that there's minimal sexual stimulation and thus the end result is dissatisfaction by both partners. Basically, you came way too early, and most guys just don't feel manly because of this, and they feel they have no control over it, and they're just basically embarrassed and ashamed, and at the same time, very worried that maybe their partner is just not going to have sex with them again, and will probably go find someone who can last longer and isn't going to be called, you know, Minute Man. By the way, this problem affects guys of all ages, but typically younger guys. And the cause is both physical and psychological, and I'll address both of them and give you proven solutions, including a surprise fix that I discovered by accident a few years ago, and I'll tell you more about it in a minute and near the end of this video. So let's first get started with the five proven solutions. All right, so number one is you wanna practice lasting longer, all right? Now, assuming you masturbate, as you bring yourself close to an orgasm, you gotta stop. And one way to do it is to tightly pinch the head of your penis for a few seconds, and that'll usually send a signal to your penis to pause and stop the ejaculation process. It'll basically reverse the blood flow. And if you're thinking maybe, you know, how many seconds do I pinch? It all depends on the person, but at least five to 10 seconds. The goal here is to stop and reverse the blood flow. Number two is non-sexual thoughts. Listen, the next thing you can do when you're getting close to an orgasm is to think about something else, non-sexual thoughts. You know, think about cars or maybe playing sports or something at work or cooking or my favorite, your parents, all right? This will typically kill the mood for anyone. Now remember, your brain is the most powerful sexual organ in the body. So stop focusing on the pleasure and almost detach yourself from the situation. Again, just long enough to tell your penis to stop getting so excited. And you don't want to go overboard with this or else, you know, you may go limp. Again, as you're getting close to an orgasm, stop focusing on how good it feels and start thinking about non-sexual thoughts. Number three, you want to focus on your partner. Now, speaking of thinking about something else, right? I want you to focus on your partner. Your only goal should be to pleasure her, kiss her and touch her and massage her, play with her breasts and her nipples and really get her warmed up. Then focus on giving her an orgasm, but without your penis. Give her, you know, oral sex and use your tongue and don't forget your fingers. Use them as well. Now I can go on and on about this topic and maybe I will in the future if I see a lot of questions about it. Simply stated, make sure you give her at least one orgasm and preferably more then you can go ahead and have sex with her. You see, at this point, if you did come too early again, she's at least been satisfied and has had an orgasm or two. Plus, this will reduce the pressure and stress you put on yourself so you can actually relax more and use the other tactics I've mentioned so far. Number four, you wanna masturbate first. Listen, if you're going to have sex, masturbate before. For example, if you got a date that night and you think you might get lucky, masturbate and have an orgasm a few hours before the date. This way, you've released some of your testosterone. Your prolactin levels, a hormone, are now higher. And there's an increase in serotonin and other chemical changes, which causes you to last much longer when you go ahead at it later on that same day. 
Number five, you want to improve your neurotransmitters. And this is the final thing I want you to do. Look, speaking of all these chemical changes, there are antidepressant drugs that work very well for premature ejaculation. Specifically, these selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors have helped thousands of men improve the situation and allow them to last a lot longer. Unfortunately, they're just riddled with lots of negative side effects, can actually cause impotence in a majority of users, not to mention a massive drop in sex drive and libido. So this is definitely not what we want. Now, earlier I said how I accidentally discovered a surprising fix to this problem, remember? You see, in 1999, I formulated a great solution, and it's all natural, for people who have anxiety and panic attacks and depression. And if you have maybe a lot of extra stress, you know, you worry a lot, maybe you have insomnia or your brain is, you know, always thinking too much, this solution really helped. And it's made a huge difference and improvements in people's lives. I mean, hundreds and thousands of customers use it daily to live happier lives. And they've gotten off of their anti-anxiety, antidepressant drugs. And I'm really proud of the results and happy I've helped so many people over the years. However, and please pay close attention right now. What's interesting is that over the years, I've had a lot of guys who use this natural solution tell me that it's cured their premature ejaculation or at least it's helped tremendously. You know, they last much longer, and best of all, their partner is now satisfied and happy with sex. Now, this isn't what I had designed the product for, but, you know, it makes perfect sense because it improves your neurotransmitters, right? Increases the healthy serotonin levels and reduces stress hormones, and thus you get the benefits of those, you know, selective re uh, serotonin reuptake inhibiting drugs that I mentioned earlier, which are clinically proven to help with premature ejaculation, but without any of the negative side effects. In fact, you actually feel more confident and happier. Anyway, this natural solution is called Provanix, and you can click the link below this video to learn more about this product. However, the web page and the video says nothing about premature ejaculation. Remember, this is just a side benefit and something I don't really tell most people. But I think it'll really be helpful for anyone watching this video and dealing with this problem. So to summarize today's five fixes for premature ejaculation, the first you want to practice lasting longer by pinching the head of your penis when you get close to an orgasm. Number two, have non-sexual thoughts when you see yourself getting too excited. Number three, focus on your partner and make sure she has, she has an orgasm first by using your mouth and fingers before you penetrate her. Number four, masturbate a few hours before having sex. And number five, improve your neurotransmitters by using a natural solution like Provanix. And actually, I'll give you a bonus uh, extra one, number six. Be kind to yourself when this happens, all right? You're not alone. Keep practicing until you have control over this. Don't worry about it so much. Well, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, you know, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe. Please leave your questions, comments below. I do read them and share it with others and let them know that they don't have to suffer from premature ejaculation. Also, make sure you visit the link below in the description area so you can give Provanix a try so you can improve your neurotransmitters and see how much it'll help your premature ejaculation problems. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.